Assalamu alaikum guys this is Muhammad Hamza from Fun with Tips today we will talk about how to use arithmetic operation in dev c++ ide first of all i would like to tell you about operators operators are the symbols that are used to perform certain operations on data c++ provide a variety of operations these includes arithmetic operation rational operation logical operation etc they are also of two categories unary operators binary operators but now let's come to the point arithmetic operators what what are actually arithmetic operators arithmetic operator is a symbol that performs mathematical operation on data c++ provides many arithmetical operation here is the following list of arithmetical operations in c++ addition operation or symbol is plus and used to add two values subtraction symbol is minus and used to subtract one value from another multiplication operator steric symbol and multiply two values division is forward slash symbol is forward slash and divide one value by another value modulus its symbol is percentage or percent it gives the reminder of division of two integers all arith arithmetic operation works with numeric values suppose we have two variables a and b where a is assigned initialized to 10 and b to 5 if we apply these arithmetic operations a plus b it results 15 a minus b 5 a steric b or a multiplied by b 50 and a divided by b 2 and the modulus of a with b is 0 now let us move to the compiler so guys remember the previous tutorial here is the comment statement as i said that the compiler skipped this statement written after the two forward slashes now we have to write a write a program which has two variables a and b which perform arithmetical operations now as the programmer as in the question is said that two variables a and b we will declare here two variables int a b we can declare two variables like this and we can also declare it like this both are the right same things but we will write like this for short code now if we if we go through like this uh, as in here if we have a equals to 10 and b equals to 5 we will initialize it in the declaration equals to 10 and b equals to 5 now the statements now we will have we have to display the state arithmetic operations first of all we have to display the addition operation a plus b c out we have to display a plus b equals to and we can write direct the expression in the statement or we can assign it to another expression and then we can show display it in the c out statement like if we compile it run oh it's, it's again compiled run a plus b equals to 15 now as i said we can assign this thing to another variable if we here declare another variable c and we assign here c is equals to a plus b and we display only c it will display the same result a plus b equals to 15 but for the simplicity we can so we can directly display it here now another statement the see how it is the addition operator here is the addition operator now we will copy paste a minus b the sub subtraction operator 
and here we will change it to minus compile run a a plus b equals to 15 and a minus b equals to 5 here we will use the and l expression a and d for next line compile run a plus b equals to 15 and a minus b equals to 5 now the new line you will copy it control plus c and then paste control plus v now the multiplication operator static here we will use static compile run a multiply by b equals to 50 now the division operator copy paste forward slash and here we will also use the forward slash compile and run a divided by e equals to 2 now the last no, but not the least modulus operator which is shown with the percent which can be written with a percent and here we will also use percent let me show or tell you about the, some important points about modulus operator as far as modulus operator is also called as reminder operator the modulus operator works only with integer value here we can declare only integers not float and other character types of things it can only the modulus works only with integer values if modulus is used with the division of zero it result it result will be always be zero for example for example if we divide zero zero and reminder five will equals to will always it will result zero and uh, in expression like uh, and in expression like uh, 3 modulus 5 will equals to 3 its result will be 3 cause 3 is not divisible by 5 that's why so be careful with the modulus now it will display all these things compile it zero error zero warning and then run a plus b equals to 15 here we write the expression a minus b here is the expression a static b here is the expression a divided by b equals to 2 and a modulus b equals to 0 as we did here a plus b 15 5 50 12 2 and 0 the same thing now if we want to input from the user so we have to we have a little bit changes we will backspace from here as i said in the previous tutorial that we used we used scene for input from the user or from keyboard scene a and scene b now the compiler will take values from keyboard if we enter here anything like uh, 5 and 2 5 plus 2 7 5 minus 2 3 5 multiply by 2 10 5 divided by 2 here a division is also in integer forms because uh, it uh, doesn't give uh, the point values we have to write here float for the point values and the modulus of a is 1 a modulus b1 so we can write here also the expression like c out enter the values of e and enter the value of a and uh, here we can write it will display the same thing enter the value of b 
compile it result enter the value of a if we enter 4 and b2 here a plus b4 plus 2 6 4 minus 2 2 4 minus 2 4 into 2 8 and 4 divided by 2 2 and modulus is 0 so that's for all for today and uh, please subscribe our channel guys thank you